Kuma Clan, Kuma Clan. Just checking in with you guys. You know, just gonna give you an update. You know, keep you up to date on certain things. You know, uh, let's go over the price analysis. See where we're at with the Kuma. Welcome, my Hina Inu family, to the channel. Thank y'all for joining us. We're actually gonna go over Hina today, also. You know, just do a community. You know, community revival. We're gonna talk to the community about the charts. See where we're at with things. You know, things of that nature. Okay. Now, well, guys, you know, after we are, uh, you know, we, we fought through the FUD, Kumas, Hinas. We fought through the FUD, and, uh, you know, that was pretty cool. You know, because before the fight to the FUD, we were looking for, we were more like on a fall. Everybody was panicking. Was it, you know, a rogue pull, things of that nature? You know, all the other, you know, guys that were throwing the FUD, they redacted their statements, and now they're saying, I, I, I'm not a financial advisor, no. I did say that. You know, it's like, okay, guy. Just make your mind up of the saying without really saying. You know, it's just like, come on, guys. You know, just say you're wrong. You know, that's it. You know, pretty simple. And uh, that's why we always, and once again, I'm out of financial advice. No doubt, all for financial advice. Please do your own due diligence and research financing anywhere in the crypto space. But, you know, it's like, do your due diligence and your proper research. You see, when you do things like that, right? I'm just going to go over this because I think this is in relation to investing in the crypto space. You know, and I'm just going over my own thoughts, things of that nature. So when you are in this space, you're going to be tempted to update yourself. It's like, okay, why not look at the media of something I'm investing? You know, you're doing your research. You're just keeping up on your, you know, your egg, your investment, your nest egg, whatever. And you're going through these motions, Right. And this is very important because this might not have nothing to do with price charts or price analysis and all of the technicals, but this simple part of common sense will save you years of headaches and mistakes. Okay. You have to separate the view chasers. That is the reason Kuma clan Hinu Army Family Diamond Hands. And once again, if you're here for the first time, please hit your like button, subscribe button, notification bells, and comment Kuma Clan Diamond Hands. We'd like to welcome our Hina Inu family to the building. Okay. We might actually start giving Hina Inu its own little, you know, segment and things of that nature in the family. That way it feels like, you know, we're not overpowering her, you know, let's let her be independent. To give her her own independent uploads, you know. But uh, this is very, very important. It's common sense, but people get hit by it. It's like a matrix. It's a mind trick, okay? You have guys out here chasing views. They are looking to break any news because they're not even really caring about what they're saying. They want you to subscribe to their channel. Hit the subscribe button. You know, they're just... If you do your proper research and due diligence you would not have gave us these types of opinions but what happens is this is where the fud comes in at and some of these guys like i said you know all of these cryptos are developing they're coming into existence so there's space but there's not that much space so once the, the seats get filled up it's like you're playing uh ring around the rosy and all of these oh uh, you know when you walk around the chairs when you was in school and the music was playing Musical chairs, you know. So when the chairs get less, people start pushing each other over to get to the last seats. If there's two chairs on the ground and there's four people and we're playing music, we're going around in that circle. Once the music stops, you're going to see the pushing start. You're going to see the, the, the bumping. And, you know, so that is what's going on with these crypto spaces. You have these guys. Top informers. These guys infiltrate these markets and they spread FUD purposely so people could get dissuaded, unsatisfied, and move on possibly to the projects that, they, you know, that is how the game goes, guys. It is what it is, you know. The agents of the Matrix Kumas. So that's what it is. So I'm just going to dive into the price analysis. Just keep, so keep that in mind when you're watching these videos. You know, you got guys talking about random projects. Oh, man, this that's part of crypto. Oh, my God. This, you know, just like. They're not even really on subject for real. They just give you any subject that's exciting. It's media. Not only are they not a financial advisor, they're not even giving you their own opinions or ideas. So they're still giving you a whole fraud once it starts because they're giving you media. 
Whatever is rising, I'm going to cover it. That's why so many people lost money in Squid Coin. Because it was all over the media. Not the news. No, they did not cover it. Social media cover it. You see, once you see a news outlet cover a crypto, now it's saying that crypto has made it to the big leagues. That's how I'm looking at it. Like, so Shiba Inu, things like that. You know, that, that's a serious, solid foundation now. Once you break off above that surface, it's like these underground cryptos. And once you hit that surface with the media, you know, that's when, you know, the big the big suits get involved. And, you know, this is going to be here for a while now. This is going to be, you know, those are the people that's going to, full, you know, structureize their projects and be here forever, you know. So when you see these bloggers, YouTubers, sometimes, a lot of times, they're just covering what is popular. And when they're wrong, you're never going to get a true apology. You're going to get an excuse within an apology. Yeah, I crashed your car, but, you know, I told you I wasn't a driver anyway. I didn't have a license anyway. You know, it's like, come on, dude. You're not even going to be honest. You know, just be like you're wrong. You know, it's like it's like you're trying to fake apologist ball, you know, and it's like, you know, and that's why a lot of people lose thousands, thousands. I guarantee if you did a study research on people that end up becoming unknowingly persuaded by a unquote, unquote opinion or, you know, just speaking, speaking in general, just speaking, speaking. And, uh. It still moves energy, you know. Voices move energy whether we want to be moved or not sometimes, you know. So, these people, and if you do research, this is probably millions of bills, probably billions of dollars loss. Influence, influence of loss due to this type of things. But, you know, life goes on. So, right, once again, we're here with the Kuma Inu. We're going to do a quick update. We're down 17.2%, okay, for gay guys, okay. But, you know, if you say to my private, once again, if you have a first time, hit that like button. Subscribe button, notification bells, and comment Kuma Clan Diamond Hands. Okay? A lot of the Kumas were up. We're not going to, you know, we've been there, we've done that already. Now, did we get life changing? No, but we're all ahead. So, you know, 17.2%. You know, we started at the 8, we started at the 13, but we're going to talk about what we're doing when for the new people that enter the space and where we're going at right now. Okay? So, as far as, you know, look at the prior videos, at one point we were looking and discussing being at 20 being a main resistance point, okay? And I said, if it goes under 20, I'll bat an eye. Like, if it goes under 20, I'm going to bat an eye. I hit under there and it batted right up, okay? Since then, we have never touched that resistance point again. That is something that we have to acknowledge. So that's another important thing to remember. Why? Because these resistance points establish points of, to me, I use them as points of reminder points. I don't just think resistance points. I'm thinking of a reminder of if it hits a certain level, I can say this percentage of the whole space is feeling this kind of way because of the price action. You know, the price action gives me a reflection on how people are feeling about this, the crypto, the stock, etc. Okay, so when it hit 20, it bats an eye. No, nope, it's not going to hit that because, like I've stated before, that when we had our first run up, people were like, yo, it's a rug pull, it's going back down. You know, that's the first the first round of FUD because we're on rug, FUD round two. We've been hit with FUD twice already. Okay, guys, it's not going to stop. It's going to get worse. Okay, so I'm going to also document how many times the FUD storms happen. And once this project is big enough, the FUD will come even harder. Okay, this is the test. These are showing you that you're important. Because if you're not talked about, you just don't mean nothing. So they have to talk about you. A guy made a fake site and was selling the Kuma Inu websites. Who does that? Who would make a fake site and start selling the, you know, sell the website that was never really sold? That makes no sense. Who would do that? Those intimidated by the project. Now, nobody would do that for a joke. No, 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 no. Let's say a joke or just trying to play around with something that's not really that quote unquote known. Is not sensible, you know. This is more of a, an attack, you know, from other armies, paid assassins to the Kumas, to the Kuma nation, the Kumas that we love to see grow. Kuma. So, you know, we go through these things, right? We hit the 20, we bat an eye, but we go up. And this next, you know, during the last FUD storm, my thing was this we discussed that I've seen this project consolidating between the 20 and the 30 range at that time, which we actually did when we had the run up and, you know, this and then, you know, the FUD started. But I also was now looking for a new higher low, meaning a new resistance point, a superior resistance point is what I like to, you know, call these points. These are the points that mean something because it's like you're not going to precisely, accurately go, you know, so we try to go to 
try to go too fine. You make them lines too fine, they look more, even more squiggly. You know, so that's what it's about with this. We leave a little room, so that way we can't be wrong. You know, because if we if we just bet all of the room there, you know, it's like okay, you know, there's a little bit more room to understand where we're heading at. Okay, so if you're entering this space, right? Now, this is my thing. We had the consolidation. We had the shootout. We had the consolidation. We had the tip right here again. So I'm also now, after looking at time, because this was what? So the 31st of October. It's the 4th, correct? Yeah, correct. Yeah. So it was last time the 4th is when that was tested again, you know? So now I want to see us maintain a steady resistance over this 30 mark i want to see how long this you know this new revelation is coming because with these cryptos they run they pull back they run but it's like they're running and they, they're always going forward right but they're going up and they're pulling back while they're doing it they're slowly going up a step but it's like they're falling up the step but down it's a, it's a it's part of his creation this is what makes it interesting and you know what that's probably that's probably the sensible way to understand why the money is involved in it because without the falling and the stumbling it'll just be you know Anybody can do it. It's just going to go straight up. You know, it's like, it's not, it's not, that's not friction is often existence. We need, can, you know, compelling forces. So you got to have the wall, the, the winds, the losses, the this, you know, it can't just be a steady rise or everybody's so comfortable into it. Like, yeah, I'm just sitting right here and everything's cool. I'm never, you know, you're never stressed out. It just goes up a dollar a day or five dollars here. And, you know, it's just not how it, so with the stumbling and the tumbling, we realize as it stumbles and tumbles, it's always heading upward though, in an upward direction. Sometimes it'll pull back, sometimes, you know, but what does is this, this is shaking off the paper hands, it's shaking people off of it, you know. So that is the financial development aspect of it, okay? So, as we're looking at this and we're looking for our new major resistance point, we look at the overall chart, which I like, I love this view sometimes, you know. And uh, we see the consolidation between the 30 as far as the wide range of what it bounces. I seem to come up, okay? This is the second time, the second reminder. Okay, this is the second time that, you know, say if you're a professional, well, diving, kuma, you know, you come here, you come here, uh, you know, you, you sell out here and you relax and it shoots up, you know, so I'm looking at production. I'm looking at the people that are the masters of the realm, kumas. You have levels to what we're doing. You got people that have been doing stocks, crypto, you know, for years and years and years. So these people are like the space divers, the space jumpers. They've really mastered getting off closest to the top as possible, diving off, buying back into the lowest possible, and getting back on close as possible. Where the fight and the friction goes with these type of entities, entities or energies, is that as you see these run-ups, it's gonna slowly shake off. And this is where you create your new lower highs okay so right now i'm predicting and you know it's once again not a financial advice i'm gonna go off the financial advice just you know give you thoughts behind the scene action type of plays i'm into type of things i wait for the henna the kuma the family you know so as you see these things i'm now looking at kuma to maintain this 30 here okay because the fight has once initiated that's the balls running up oh you know you're fighting to the top and then the sell-off starts you know, so you profited so much, so the greed index is a little lower here, okay? I'm already, you know, I'm not starting from the bottom, so I'm really starting at the top. No, so with that comes, you got the sell-off initiates again. You got the pullback, but then I like how it hit this 30 and just, you know, got back over that. So I'm looking, because we already held 20 as our main resistance, and once we did that, you see the, the uptrend here. I'm not ever... I don't really see this project. You know, we got some listings coming, things in each. I don't really see this project ever touching that. I'm looking for us to shake some numbers off that we will never see again. Okay. This is where people, if you look at the overall of the space, this is the main thing that is personally me, in my own opinion, you know, my thoughts. This is the main things I worry about and I think about the numbers that will never be seen again. Like, honestly, guys, we could all sit back and say Bitcoin would, honestly, I can, I don't ever see Bitcoin seeing 10,000 again, 15,000 again, 20,000 again. I don't, I don't ever, you know, these are things that I don't see unless this whole market, that's the most horrible news in the world. And it's just, it's over for. But other than that, it's like, you know, we're past that right now. So I don't see that. So the, some, these numbers that are lost forever are the, is where the diamonds are forged and, you know, your play is secure. So when you're up here, 17, and you're like, oh, I'm down, and people like looking at you like, you know, they're not really saying anything because they're still up. 
Yeah. So you want to become that person. If you can't transition to that person, you'll never find feel comfortability or the energy or the motivation wouldn't ever hit you to wanting to be into these markets because that's the most comfortable position. Okay. So as we see 17.2%, you know, you go to my first video. Once again, if you're here for the first time, hit your like button, subscribe button, notification bells, and comment, Kuma Clan Diamond Hands. If you look at my first video, uh, yeah, we aired at the 13, but, you know, guys came in at the 8 or the 9. So you look at this 36, this was a 13 here. So on this downtrend, the Diamond Hands are still up. They're still 3 x and the next bull run is, you know, and they were looking to knock off more higher positions. Because once you leave the market and you're that far ahead, you're never going to catch the market again. You can catch it because you can afford to buy back in, but you're not going to have to have them same coins. So you're still at a loss. Even if you look at your money and it's at a profit, you're at a loss. No, so that's my thing with this. So with this Kuma chart, this is what I got. I see, uh, you know, I see a uh, uh, path of ascending. I see an ascending path here going up. You know, I see Kuma holding, you know. Possibly got some new listings coming as we see this. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna drag past that quickly. You know, this is still a new market. We gotta look at market cap. We have to look at trade and volume, things of that nature. Okay, so we're holding a new higher position, which is great for Kuma. Okay, we have twenty four thousand four hundred and forty one holders, which is pretty cool. You know, and that's gaining. So. So as I spoke to y'all, you see that I just, you know, refreshed that and that went up also. So that's pretty cool, guys. So I'm looking at Kuma as, you know, your new uh, bell of concern now after dealing with the FUD. I'm looking at where the FUD pulled us down to, which was around the 29. And, you know, people that we, do, you know, they were still up anyway. But the FUD pulled us down to that 29. Okay? So without the FUD, I'm looking automatically to see us at a new lower high. So the FUD actually helped us and in, in initiated a new lower high. Because once the FUD left, the excitement goes like, okay, this is a serious product. This is not a rug pull, you know. So now that's already shaking off. A lot of the FUD now is like, you like the boy who cried wolf. We already heard you. You're a FUDder. We don't really care now. We're not going to believe any random FUD that comes from that, you know. There's too many chances. Rug pulls usually happen immediately. Squid coin came and went and they and they took everything. You know, so nobody's gonna sit around and go through this process. These are people that's trying to build a brand, you know, that's already we already established all that. So we just passed that. We're not gonna waste any time on that. So that's what we're dealing with. I'm seeing growth, I'm seeing development. I'm looking for us to cr crush this high right here and then continue forward. That's what I'm looking for the Kuma. Okay? The Kuma. The Kuma. The developers is gonna go. I'm looking at us as definitely, we're definitely going to easily see 30,000 plus holders before the end of the year. That's, you know, that's easy right there for the Kuma, okay? Very simple. Very easy. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, we don't actually got good. The price is actually doing great, guys, basically, you know. We're looking at the 30-day, you know, where we're at from there, you know. And then you're looking at the past activity of it and also this rising it's just rising and establishing new all you know new lower highs step to step in my eyes we called the 20 batted the eye you know all these you know it's got to deal with reality guys a guy says it rains it rains life goes on kumas he nas you know it's more than one way to skin a cat i could you know i i could have told you in the most intellectual way possible it doesn't really matter which way the opinions, is, you know, the thoughts and the ideas is conferred as long as the job. Get your job done. Get your job done. Okay? So we're currently uh, just, you know, 3-0 and with every price prediction. You know, I, it's just, once again, I'm not a financial advisor. No, they're awful financial advice. Just give you thoughts, ideas, predictions, or maybe things I received from the big Kumas. Just keep you up to date. It's keeping you up to date, okay? So, with that being said, uh, you know, I'd like to congratulate all my diamond hand holders who can laugh at, you know, where we're at now. And the father of hers, we like to thank you. But uh, the whole crypto market is, you know, it, it's not, it's pretty much down. It's not really doing nothing too special in our eyes, okay? So, that is what I have with that. We're going to jump into the Hina Inu, okay, guys? So I'm going to do a quick analysis on, you know, our sister, our family, things of that nature. 
things I received from the big Kuma. So, you know, anybody who's into this specific space, you know, this is actually in relation to the Kuma. So, you know, we are family, so we're going to go over that. Okay, uh, and eventually we're just going to give, you know, her her own little, you know, segment and stuff like that. So, with this we have here, okay, this is what I've noticed with this project here, you know, as far as watching this area over here, as far as being caught in some type of, you know, bearish pattern, that's something to keep an eye on. But uh, looking at the overall time with the chart, looking today, you know, it's on a downtrend today. You know, skipping through, just, you know. Seventh of October, seventeenth, twenty nine point two percent from our all time high. This was seventeen days ago. This is October. This is very new, new projects, guys. So let's please be aware of that. Okay. So, uh, Latina Inu is this. You know, it's a very, very new project, okay, guys? So, when I look at price analysis for this, I'm not going to just, oh, I got a price analysis. It looks bearish. It looks bullish. This thing is like this, guys. We have pri uh, projects that's so new, it's like having a feather in the wind and waiting for any type of wind to blow. It just goes parabolic. If it's new and it has a good footing, good developers, good team, things of that nature, you know? Most people have not heard about Hina Inu, you know, and that's a gift to the, so once again, if you're here for the first time, please hit your like button, notifications bell, subscribe, 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 comment Kuma Clan, diamond hands, Hina Inu to the moon. Okay, so this is just, you know, I'm just giving you thoughts, ideas, you know, things I've received from the big Kumas. I'm looking at this project in relation to Kuma Inu. Okay, guys, I'm just going to be honest. Okay. First of all, we're going to acknowledge the run up and the, uh, the patterns of consolidation, the consolidation range. Okay, even though it's broad, it's a broad range. You know, but I'm looking at time. I got the October, you know, we're looking at time here, you know. So within this time period, it's, it's held this range, okay? So I'm looking at 30 as a main resistance for this particular project. 30, yes, yes, 30, yeah, yes, 30. Uh, yeah, I'm going to settle with that, with that one. As far as, you know, just keep an eye on that, hitting this under this 30 here. You know, just keep a little eye on that, please. You know, there's nothing wrong with keeping an eye on the 30. You know, I believe the 30 is extremely important right now with us. You know, uh, big flux. You know, it's kind of weird because then I'm looking at, you know, when we dealt with the, the coma, you know, I had this, this range. Now, this one is kind of, you know, in between ranges. And what I mean by that is... You know, if we went up over the 30 and maintained this since, see, this is, where, this is what I was looking for. Yeah, every time we hit that 30, we go up off of it, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm looking for this 30 as a main resistance point currently. A great resistance point. You know, I'm looking if we hit under 30 and we don't bounce up. You know, we're looking on a downtrend, things of that nature. Now, is it a downtrend? You know, I'm looking at a project so new, I don't really believe in downtrends too much. Not saying that it's going to just go straight up. It can pull back. It can sit there, but it's going to grow because we're looking at word of mouth, things of that nature. Okay, so what do I mean by that? Okay, this project currently has 14,000 holders. You know, some people might have felt like they missed the Kuma. Did you miss the Kuma? Did you miss the Kuma? You know, things of that nature. So it's like none of these projects can be missed because they're just so brand new. You know, don't ever let the greed index overcome oneself, please. Okay. Once again, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not the offer financial advisor. I'll give you thoughts, ideas, things I received from the Kumas, things we received from the builders. The architects of Kuma World. So, when you look at projects this new and this young, I call like their babies, okay? It's like, over time, we're going to see growth. Regardless of a person who said this project's a failed project, it's just like there's going to be a large amount of growth before we ever can become 
in assumption of such a thing like that. Because we look at developers, we look at, you know, I'm just adding, equating everything and just giving it simplified, like now, you know, opinions, thoughts, things of that nature, straight to the point where I'm adding all of the, you know, the bones to the building right now, because it's a lot of information. But to sum it all up, development and things of that nature is great, you know. One of the strongest aspects of the Hina Inu project to me that I like about this is this. They were, you see this, this feature on this website right here, okay? This right here is what people will start looking for. The frauders are not doing nothing but creating another market. When you fraud things and you, it's like you're hacking, we're going to close this door on you. And I, I predict before I have ever seen Hina Inu's page, I was, once again, I'm not a financial advisor, but if you're here with our conversations on a day-by-day -day basis, so you're here for the first time, please hit that like button, subscribe button, notification bells, and comment Kuma Clan, Diamond Hands, and Hina Inu, if you're here from the family. You know, so if you've been with these videos and you're one of the subscribers, you know, on a day-by-day -day basis, some people started when we had five, we were at eight already, you know, thing, you know, we're so way ahead, whatever, but not to brag, Kumas. We're just living our Kuma life. So, I've talked about, and I always tell y'all, when something, you have a thought, and you believe this thought is brilliant, and it's a good thought, other people will have this thought. Why? Because we're dealing with creation. We're dealing with a beehive. I'm not a bee. I'm not an ant. You know, but we're looking at that from our perspective, because we think we're the biggest thing on Earth. We're the biggest thing in the galaxy. You know, so... If there's other things of consciousness that exist bigger than us, we'll be looked at as a colony. You know, when you're flying all over, you ever fly in an airplane and look down on these cities and see dots? Imagine that if you've seen from that perspective your whole of, of your whole existence, you'll see a colony. If you're God or your creator, you're seeing the earth, you love everything in it, every part of the, you know, so it's hard to really focus on one thing, you know, things of that nature. So these thoughts occur. That's the first sign of a, a thought that, you know, the truth rings. It's common sense. The truth is going to ring. Like, okay, I'm tired of these rug pull guys. What do we do about them? There's always these people and these thoughts. Like, okay, this project was born. Most people was like, oh, well, the people with Hina Inu, you know, they are, the developers, you know, two of their projects they was involved with got rug pull. You know, dude, every time a rug pull doesn't happen, don't always think that developers was with, you know, it could be a big guy to buy in early. And just sit there as the project grows and then pull it, you know, so you just don't know these things, you know, I'm not saying this, everybody doesn't have to be in cahoots, you know. So I've stated that, that they would create these features and then, you know, we look at our sister and we get into the details and wham, right in your face. It's like, wow, okay, great. So this 100% safe and rug, safe and rug proof, okay? So that's what it is. And another good thing about this project, guys, is with every buy and sell transaction, 2% of the transaction value will be distributed to all holders and burn addresses automatically in real time. Holders will be rewarded as they hold and circulating supply will decrease over time, increasing the value of the token. So we have to think of this. If you hold Hina Inu, you're consistently rewarded in real time with every buy or sell transaction, 2% of every transaction that's happening. So we're looking at a consistent burn. So when I look at a project like this, guys, I see this thing, honestly, guys, as far as holders, is going to outpace Kuma. Inu. It's all sister, though. You know, guys, come on, she's a cat. She's a good person or whatever. And I'm so as far as, like, holders-wise, as far as the interest growing from that. You know, I'm just being, you know, and I love both projects, of course. I'm a Kuma clan, diamond head. Serve the big homos, serve the builders, hold the lights, pass it to the people, education, development, kumas. You know, so it's just one thing I just like to deal with is reality and just deal with the truth. You know, why at some point, because if we're just dealing with something so simple, what is the big deal about that? Oh, I don't know this. I don't know that. Like, come on, guys. I be wondering that when I look at these these, these channels and they oh it's gonna be a rug pull. It's if you really don't know it or you say you went too fast, what motivates you to go too fast? What is your motivation for that? Ain't you talking about your own plays? You just say you're not a financial advisor. I'm giving you advice and things and you know type of plays I make. Are those the type of plays you're making? And if you are, I don't want any parts of them. <laughs> you know, so 
it's you don't rush anything. Sit back, observe, educate. But common sense should be common. So what I mean by this is this. Okay, we have our Kuma Inu official website, the Holy Kuma tablets, the scriptures of the Kuma. Kuma. You know, so we have this site and it says it tells you how to buy Kuma. I'm just looking at common sense, thoughts of people. Sometimes these thoughts of people can't really be immediately understood. Some people are not susceptible to understanding overall thoughts, you know, what is in, what is not. So I'm thinking of a view of millennials, you know, people entering this space, eye candy, things of that nature, okay? So in this site, we have a lot of information. We're hiring, we got your directions, you know, you got your steps, they X them out, great, good things, strong, strong, strong. Now, what, how would when this type of site shut down, people would get scared and say a rope pull? Because I'm just done with honesty, you know, just, you know, both brother, both sister, both great projects, you know, they work together, so, you know, big deal. But we gotta give credit when credit is due, okay? So we have to now scam through the sites, you know, as far as, you know, thumbnails goes. Okay, guys. Well, this is not a price analysis. What does it got to do with the stock? Uh, it has a lot to do with people's thoughts, the way people perceive things. See, once you understand people's perception, you can save yourself a lot of time, but this is a people's currency, fully decentralized for financial communication under one globe. You know, things I received from the big coomers. So it's like you have these things and we have to realize, yes, simple details matter. So, you you know, this thumbnail, I'm looking at page design and I'm looking at, you know, just the overall outline. You see how it starts and then it just drops. You know, so people are scared of these. You see these Scammers are opening up a market for new coins. And Hina Inu jumped right into the market. 100% safe and rug proof. Some people want to put their money into something, but they don't want to be scared it's going to vanish in the middle of the night out of nowhere from some freaking online scammers. So they've opened up a market to prevent these types of things here. Okay? So you have to be aware of that. I'm looking at color scheme, page development, security, you know, things of that nature. So this project right here, to the moon, Hina, and Kuma is on the rocket. No, so I'm just looking at their partnership, things of that nature. Yes, they have it down here, but you know, I'm just looking at people's thoughts, colors, things of that nature, okay, guys, just being honest about it, man. So I think that's why people automatically, it's a rug pull, oh my God, a website. Like, you know, I'm pretty sure they, I'm not saying this, you got the app, you got it coming soon, you know, contact us. So if you look at Hina Inu's website, it's more interactive, is what I'm saying. Look at the interaction, the feeling of it. You know, the saying, contact us, this, you know, we have to just, you know, it's just you got to click this button. So it's like everything is there in your face in a way. Whoever designed it just did a good job. What the frick? They did a good job. You're looking at website designs and, you know, the MetaMask wallet and how to buy it. You look at how to buy Kuma. They go up and tell you, but it's like how to buy Kuma. You know, it's more of, you see how it's too simplified. And that takes, a, you know, as far as designing something, people look at spend, look at stuff like that. That's what people, oh, it's a rug pull. You know, it made you think. You start to think back on the website. If you believe the rug pull, I'm guaranteeing you this would influence you, which is the website. Just being honest. That added a little bit to it. I'm not saying that was an overall determination, but, you know, I think that added to it. So it's a great project, you know, in the future, you know, maybe they will design, do some designs, new color schemes for the Kumas. Keep us up to date, keep us modern, you know, things of that nature. So, but as far as looking at this right here, and as far as digging the NFTs is coming, this is a diamond in the dirt. You know, this type of project right here, it's just, it's just, it's crazy, you know, it's, it's ridiculous. It's, it's a strong project. And as you can see, it's a reaction by the people, the word spreads, things of that nature, you know, uh, we have 14,169. Now we have 14,170. So I say we're just going to keep going up, guys. I think yesterday we was in our 13,000. So we basically gained uh, almost 
going on 170 people, give or take another 10 within the last 24 hours, 24 to 36 hours possibly. So that's pretty cool. We have a nice growth algorithm. Uh, we're definitely going to break this 20,000 mark and uh, we're going to burn some zeros, of course. This Hina is going to burn some zeros and it's, you know, it's entering the space in its own space. It's like I, I'm a mean coin with y'all, but guess what? I'm this type of mean coin, you know? I'm not gonna just be a dog, you know, dogs, dogs, dog, you know, it's a cat, it's great, great project. To see the whole the whole idea, the whole feeling. They have a great community already. Some loyalists over there. Okay, so great. They're related to the Kumas, they love the Kumas. Most people who hold Kuma, Inu, hold Hina Inu. And what makes Hina Inu is so great is as you hold, you are rewarded. So as you hold it, your portfolio goes up. Most people are like, yo, you should buy in the dips. See, with Hina Inu is, if you put, you know, if you into, you get into, once you get into it deep enough, if you ever, once again, I'm not a financial advisor, no doubt, offer financial advice. Just give you thoughts, you know, Skyping through the world, projecting through my brain, you know, and just, you know, things I channel from the big coma and uh, ideas. So uh, with that being said, it's like you look at it like, as you hold this type of project, you're awarded. So you're going to see your portfolio increase without you having to buy dips. It's like forget buying the dips, just hold during the dip. So this is like a, I like this project because I, lo I look at it more as a set it and forget it. Okay. Because the way I deal with these projects is this, guys. I'm honestly looking at these projects as businesses. I'm not going to, you know, that's just my own personal way of looking at these these corporations opening up. Like, oh, wow, we had a, you know, we had a dot-com bubble. Imagine if you understood the dot-com bubble was there. And like, oh, wow, you know, you get in your time machine, you go back right before the bubble started, and you tear it up. Great. Life-changing. Great. You know, so I'm looking at this whole understanding how history repeats itself, and people don't take it serious. They ignore it. Yeah, well, you know, this is business is growing. So as these things continue to progress over years, I don't, I, they're going to lose zeros that we, of course, will never see again. Five years, we're not going to have the same zeros. The zeros we've seen, from, you know, they're never coming back five years from now. It's life. It's father time. It's guaranteed just as much as you're bumping your head on some stone, you know? So uh, with that being said, I'm looking at the holding and the rewarding through holding. This is going to draw a lot and it's real time. It's not like you got to wait on it thinking, oh, is this real? Or, you know, so it's just updates your wallet consistently. It's consistently, randomly, just, you know, distributing these funds, distributing these funds to everybody and things. And they, excuse me. And uh, everybody's receiving that. So that's pretty cool. So you can actually sit there and watch your wallet grow with the Hina consistently. It's like you're earning interest every day. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> I mean, oh, wow. You know, like, that's crazy. You know, you're not getting that with any financial institution currently. So that's just bananas right there and also the burn features as far as the burn so we're looking at overall burning this creases circulating over time increasing the value of the token pretty cool yeah this token you know time was with this right here it's just you know be it's very solid you know it's filled in a lot of holes a lot of gaps you see where they're going what direction they've been messing with the comas they've been ready with the winning team anyway so things of that nature so that's pretty cool you know Pretty cool, my Kumas and my Hinas. Kumas, Hinas, okay? Once again, I'm going to jump quickly into uh, Shiba Inu. Real quick, we're going to end this off. You know, we are a Kuma Clan Diamond Hand official meme channel. And that's really what we're here for. But we do discuss other cryptos throughout our market, you know, especially when we're, you know, understanding. When I discuss other cryptos, mostly I'm going to be discussing that with y'all while talking about our two cryptos is when we're... Uh, when the Kumas and the Hinas are understanding, like when we're on a spiritual path, we're on a spiritual journey, we're just looking for self-understanding, understanding where we are, where we're coming from, what we've been through. You know, we're just understanding the space and the specs of everything. So that's where we get that from, okay? That's what I like about that, okay? So we have to understand the market to see where we're going, history, you know, our forefathers, things of that nature, okay? So as we look at Shiba Inu, we had a big... You know, downtrend sell-off thing going on for a couple of days. You know, I haven't covered that in the last... I think I've talked about Shiba. What was it? A couple of days? Yeah, it wasn't that long ago, though, guys. Come on, probably like last week. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Once again, if you're here for the first time, hit your like button, ring the notification bells, and comment. Kuma Clan Diamond Hands, we're still winning. We're still winning. Simple. Winning 
Kuma, winning Hinas. Okay, so that being said, uh, you know, we had a sell off, which was, you know, I can see as not a surprise because of such the run up, guys. We have to be realistic and understand where this run up started and how far people think the greed index was going to go on. Okay? That's all I'm saying. See, people get caught up, and I'm always going to tell the truth because the paper hands and the freeloader, I call them the wave riders. Just like you have wave riding YouTubers, hey, you know, it's a matter of fight. They just give you all this FUD and all this madness. You're going to have these types of investors that get mad after they was riding a ball. I guarantee you got people out there commenting on people. Oh, my God, SHIB is crashing. It's crashing. SHIB is like, come the, the greed index with this crypto is off the charts and it's not going to be here for long because once the bubble pops you know you're going to have strong coins and strong projects that's going to be there with rail utility and all of these other ones it's going to burn off and uh you're going to have to put your money in it's going to take time for you to really profit these are just things that's going on at the early stages of these projects it's not going to ever happen again like this you're not going to see crypto shooting up two three thousand percent you know this is just new businesses opening up we're in a bubble realistically speaking not a bad bubble we're in a evolution an evolutionary chain so i think it's just life working itself out you see projects protecting themselves against the rug pulls and like you know so rug pullers won't be around and certain things will be criminal years later you know it's going to slowly adapt to people the way our cell phones did we started with the big motor rollers now we got the you know i look at best of the years from now you're not going to see money exchange here you might just walk into a stadium with your cell phone and just scan it you brought your ticket in bitcoin or whatever prefer one you know the ones that's left whatever coins that maintain their position the shibas the kumas the hinas, the doves, the Ethereum, the you know, things of that nature. So, when I'm looking at this run up, you probably got people on this, you know, with the coma, the shibas, you know, the sky's falling, whatever. Life goes on, nothing fell. So, people that got in around this point, I'm looking at this point right here. You know, people got in September. This is not long periods ago, the first of October. Come on, guys, we're not that far from that. So, this extreme point right here from just from here to there they're happy but now you're going up here okay we have to look at the math do the math you know so do the math seven times 35 seven times 10 do the math so we almost was facing 10 x's 10 what was the high 86 so we faced it almost a 9x i mean 11x yeah 77 plus another so we have to be a mindful of that guys okay once again i'm not a financial advisor nor do i offer financial advice please do your own the diligence of research before entering anywhere in the crypto space sorry about that guys in the back a little fire truck passing by city vibes you know how that goes but uh yeah that's about it with that so we have to look at the, the pullback we have to look at the price the uh, how much profit these guys made and the fear of wow look where i'm at now and you know people cashed out that's gonna happen but you're not gonna reclaim all of this this is not only just for track this now that goes guys we're looking at common sense we're looking at the fight for power the fight of greed the green balls and the mud pit rolling around as the kumas is laughing so things that nature so i'm looking at to see this project right now, going to 24 hour mark, find some consolidation after the sell off. Okay, that's about what that is. Nice consolidation. So we have to get honestly some time with that, if you ask me, because this is just brand new news. I'm kind of absorbing this as I'm telling you all this, like, you know, because I haven't looked at Shiba Inu's chart. So. Not doing too bad though, 49. It's not doing too, too bad. But you know, in these situations where you always look at that, you always gotta look at the misery. You know, the greed. People came in chasing. You know? They came in chasing. So these guys are mad. You got some upset people that came in at 70 and you know, they seen it going up and wanted to earn some, you know, money for the day. and. It's just did a backflip on her right up the diving board. Belly flop, major splash, you know. So people like that is upset. Because then after that, you know, they got to wait for a while just to even, you know. Luckily, the, these projects are just growing. So you can father time that out. Yeah, so I was heating it up. 
He's doing pretty good. You can keep an eye on that resistance points. Coma's doing great. All this project's doing, you know, pretty good as far as our time together. And if you're a new investor, you know, please do the diligence and research for anything anywhere in the crypto space. And time, time, time. Keep it on your side, you know. That's what that is. And Kuma's charts is looking phenomenal, guys. The Kuma is looking phenomenal. Period. Like, his chart is looking so great. Like, I'm just seeing these new lower highs of stems. It's, like, the best way to grow, honestly. I like this. Like, it's like it looks natural. Like, natural growth slowly going up. And, you know. So, that's pretty cool. So, keep an eye on that, guys. And we will talk about something later on. Or early in the morning, guys. Getting to give you some updates. Getting to give you an update on some possible new listings in the specs for these projects. Things of that nature. Okay, guys? Talk to you in a little bit.